Now, Isaiah Sharp with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Current temperatures in the upper 70s as we take a live look at the village at Meridian. Nice and quiet. I wish I had my camera down at the water fountain. Always love seeing all the lights and having fun down there at the village. Unfortunately, smoky conditions still definitely a part of our forecast, even though it's just a little bit lighter in the Boise region. You can see just to the north of us how bad conditions are. Some of the extremely dense stuff even further up north. Other places dealing with it too. Oregon up to this point. You can really see how their wildfire season is unfortunately producing a lot of smoke heading into the morning time. Things are unfortunately going to start to flood down into the Treasure Valley, so do expect some morning smoke to kind of take over the Treasure Valley region. Boise really dealing with it. The mountain range is just to the northeast of Boise going to be dealing with it pretty badly too. places like Eugene, Oregon, where our Boise State Broncos are going to be at also going to deal with it. And I'll tell you how hot it's going to be temperatures in just a couple of moments over in Eugene. Temperatures were fairly warm today. 98 getting close to triple digits. Medford, Oregon, one of the warmest in the region sitting at 101, but take a look at some of these other temperatures in Yakima 98 Pendleton sitting at 97 Portland, Oregon, not usually this warm sitting in 94 84 up in our mountain ranges 91 down in Twin Falls. It'll be a little bit toastier down in Twin Falls at 95 heading into tomorrow 95 also expected in Boise 95 in Baker City. It's going to be a warm one across the region and it's going to be kind of the norm over the next couple of days. Don't expect anything to change too much. We've got a high pressure ridge that's kind of holding this heat right over the top of us, but heading into the mid part of next week, we've got a low pressure system that's going to be coming in, bringing in a fair bit of precipitation. You can see some of that activity that it is bringing in. Also going to be bringing in some cooler temperatures on top of that too. Thank goodness we need a little bit of a break, but hopefully going to be bringing in some precipitation for the Oregon area. Going to bring some precipitation into Idaho as well. Hopefully not too many lightning strikes. We do not need any more wildfires on top of what we already have wildfire season wise, but that precipitation may help knock things down just after Thursday at about 3 a.m. This will move off to the north and next Friday is going to be gorgeous. It's going to be clear skies, mid 70 temperature ranges. Scott Dorval might be handing out some tens by next weekend. Keep an eye out for that as he'll have your forecast at some point. It's going to be beautiful. Cooler than normal conditions have once again returned to the gem state, which is really nice to see hotter than normal conditions off to the east of us, but we unfortunately have to deal with a hot weekend before that. This is our six to 10 day outlook, so let's get through the weekend just to see how hot it's going to be. Mid to upper 90s expected across the board. 95, one of the hottest in Emmett, Boise, and in Weezer, also in Vail as well. Smoky conditions will persist. Light chances of thunderstorms, but not too much activity. 80s expected in McCall in Cascade 102 in Riggins, one of the warmest in the gem state. You can definitely not want to be up there. 90s expected almost everywhere else. Pretty warm in Garden Valley too, sitting in 97. Smoky conditions, of course, because of the vicinity of wildfires. 80 degree temperature ranges, warmer 80s for Fairfield and Haley. Hazy conditions will continue on 83 in Sun Valley, 85 in Stanley. But it isn't just the eastern central mountains that are going to be dealing with the haze. The Boise State Broncos and the Oregon Ducks will be dealing with some hazy conditions heading into tomorrow. 89 expected to be the high in Eugene, 79 around kickoff and 58 around the low for the overnight low. Our alley trippy is in Eugene. Hopefully have some updates for you on the game and some pretty cool stories behind that too. Over here in the Treasure Valley 95 expected to be the high smoky conditions throughout the day, but then that system that rolls in is going to be dropping temperatures mid 90s up until Tuesday. 87 expected to be the high and then temperatures drop quickly. 74, 68, 30% chances and the next Friday it's going to be beautiful.